The Heartbeat from the Jack Stevens Heart Institute at St. Vincent. It is sometimes referred to as a natural bypass, a non-invasive way to increase blood flow to your heart for patients with persistent angina. KRK4 with Jan C. shows us a treatment known as EECP in this week's Heartbeat. The feeling right now is a lot of pressure that's built up from my ankles all the way up through my waist. It's an unusual sight for most, but for Terry Sharp, this has become a part of daily life. We do this for an hour at a time, for five days a week, for a month. After two bypass surgeries and no significant improvement, doctors at St. Vincent Heart Clinic of Arkansas recommended what's known as enhanced external counterpulsation, or EECP. Uh, this is a non-invasive way of treating patients who suffer from angina, which is a kind of chest pain, shortness of breath that people have suffering from blocked arteries of the heart. Like Sharp, ideal patients are those who have had unsuccessful results from traditional therapy such as medicines, stents, and bypass surgery. During a typical session of EECP, blood pressure cuffs are placed on patients' legs, and as they're inflated, blood is pushed up from the lower limbs to the heart. Just before the heart pumps, the cuffs deflate, reducing resistance and decreasing the heart's workload. You can carry on a conversation, you can watch television, you know, what have you. When you're finished, it's like having an hour's worth of intensive exercise. Exercise. At three out of four people, uh, the effect is marvelous. Uh, you become free of anginal symptoms. You don't have chest pain. You have more energy. The effects usually last up to two years. Sharp has gone through the procedure twice now, once in 2007 and again in 2010. He says the commitment is well worth the benefit. Made me feel tons better. Uh, it was it was a great to have a procedure that didn't require either a needle or a scapula. For today's St. Vincent Heartbeat, I'm Jancy Sheets. EECP requires a rather large commitment. Patients must undergo 35 hours of treatment, which is administered one to two hours a day, five days a week for seven weeks.